Hi, Sharice here with Potter Palace 509 and I was doing <clears throat> some winter sewing and I thought I would share with you guys. Any cold weather crop or cold hardy crop can be done like this. Um, and those, a lot of those crops that you would plant out um, as soon as the soil could be worked before your last frost. And in my zone, I'm in a zone 5B to 6B. And in my zone, that would be probably in mid-March. Kind of get a jump start on those things I'm planting. <clears throat> so the basic idea of winter sowing is that I'm using a tote that's gonna create a kind of greenhouse effect. Um, and it has holes in the bottom and then some holes in the top. And for venting and drainage, and I am gonna plant all my cold weather plants <clears throat> and in normally like I would to start. And instead of having them start inside and taking up a bunch of space, I'm gonna put them in this tote and then I'm gonna put the tote outside. And the idea is, is that when the temperature of the soil gets right and the outside temperature gets right, then they will germinate and, and sprout. And once they sprout, they can stay in this container for a while and grow and and uh, they're protected from the elements and all that stuff because they're in the little tote and the other nice thing is that it, they will be hardened off already you don't have to go through that process and then when my broccolis and my lettuces and whatnot get a little bit you know sizable then I can by that time it'll be the you know my soil will be able to be worked outside it will still be be before my last frost my last frost is probably the middle of May to be safe um, so I can take those sprouts out of this tote and then I can plant them in my garden and kind of have a head start on those cold weather crops that I would normally go out and just plant the seed and have to wait for them to sprout. I mean, some I still will do that, like my peas, I will do that. I'm not gonna um, do this with all, any of my snap peas. I'll do plant those directly because they grow pretty quick. So I don't really think I need to do that. Um, but all my other stuff like the broccolis and the things like that and a lot of flowers and perennial flowers They like to have a cold stratification period, which this is going to do that as well It will cold strat all those things that need that and then like your broccolis and cauliflowers and things like that that have a bit of a longer growing 70 80 90 days this will kind of give them a jump start and I don't have to start them indoors and have all of them taking up all of this space inside until I'm ready to plant them outside so that's what I'm trying. I've never done it before. I'm trying it first this year. Um, I saw, uh, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say that. I guess I've known about it because the milk jug thing. I mean, I remember when I was a kid growing up in this area, I was born and raised in Washington State, which is where I live. I was um, back and forth between the Western and Eastern side. Anyway, um, I remember like my mom doing that, my grandmother doing that, things like that. It just wasn't you know, they didn't tell me like, that's what I'm doing type of thing. So with the milk jugs and stuff, it, you, you like cut them open, you plant them, you tape it. There's a lot of work involved with that. And I don't drink milk first off. So I have no milk jugs. I don't drink a lot of juice. I have no juice jugs. I don't have a lot of plastic jugs to do that with. So I saw someone doing it with a tote a clear tote. It seems like it's just a way easier concept for me. And I've already done two totes. Um, and I'm going to show you what I planted. And then those are outside and I just checked on them a little bit ago. They're doing great There was condensation on the top of the lid So they're they're getting watered and all of that in there and they were warm in there warmer than outside so that everything is doing its thing Which it's pretty cool you that at the end here. I'll take you out and I'll show you that so real quick <clears throat> before I show you what I'm gonna be planting today um, to go out in these next two bins that I have I'm gonna um, and a lot of these things I'm only, I'm not planting like a bunch, you know, I'm planting like one of these and let's say I really heavily did it with lettuces and then the three that are really growing the what the best I'll keep and then the other ones I'll get, that will get snipped out. I don't pull out when I thin, I snip because um, it's just easier to do it that way. I have this really cute little pair of snips that work perfectly. I think I even got these at the dollar store and they're great for sprouts and microgreens too which I'm also gonna be starting probably tonight or tomorrow. You know, two or three, four maybe of each thing, you know, like with my broccoli and my cauliflowers, maybe four heads of each, cause we love a lot, we eat a lot of broccoli and cauliflower. And I also wanna do a few successions, sewings, two of things. Um, and I'm like, why do you have to eat the whole elephant? Just, that's a horrible analogy. <laughs> 
and especially for someone like me who eats plant-based, do little things. You don't have to do everything 100%, Charisse. Anyway, I digress. Okay. All right, let's peek in on our cold frames. So you can see all the condensation in there. And I kind of just open them and kind of smack them off so it kind of gets the water in there. Like that. And see? They're all in there. Um, let's check these guys. Yep. Yep, these guys are all nice. And then over here is the newest one I just did. My most recent guy. I just used the biodegradable t uh, planters in these ones because that was what I had out in my back room from a few seasons ago and I just thought, well, why not? Let's just get them done. My time, I love it. Oh, mm, that still smells good. While we're out here, got lots of garlic in this bin. Oh yeah, the ground is like frozen. 